Hi, I'm Max Stein with Hidden Harbor. I'm the head bartender here. We've been open now for a little over three and a half years. The one here is called the Curse of Pele. This is the Night Ripper. Uh, the Curse of Pele is definitely a little bit more rum forward. Uh, borrows kind of a little bit more probably from a gentleman named Don the Beachcomber, who uh, was basically the first grandfather of Tiki and started in the 30s. You have a big, hefty slug of Jamaican rum in here with pineapple falernum. Falernum is what involved into a ginger, lime, and clove syrup. We add a little bit of lemongrass to ours, a little bit of fresh lime juice, grapefruit, and bitters. And the Night Ripper is a little bit more blown out. It's custom skull mug, custom swizzle, fresh flour, fronds, and you have a long grocery list of ingredients that go in here that all kind of harmonize very well. Honey, passion fruit, coffee, coffee liqueur, lime juice, pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, three different rums, also absinthe too. So everything kind of like works together and that's kind of the cool things about TV, one of many is how certain rums harmonize well together in these kind of exotic Caribbean spices, kind of play second fiddle and bring the whole drink kind of into harmony and balance. Basically the concept of this bar is kind of a modernist take on tiki, something that kind of fell out of popularity and favor and quality in the 70s and 80s, but during the mid part of the 20th century was a huge fad and a big pop culture thing that just attracted a lot of celebrities and caused people to open a lot of these gigantic supper clubs that offered very elaborately garnished drinks and it was kind of an escapist kind of vibe for a lot of people. We're trying to kind of revive that. We're kind of riding a crest of a wave that is coming back and bringing Tiki back to life. The whole point was not just using fresh juices and ingredients and blending multiple different rums to create cocktails, but also the customization of glassware and allowing people to enjoy it in this kind of quiet neighborhood we have is something really special.